We live, baby. From your neighborhood, can I make you here? With a little more spider flavor in your ear. Let's get it. Alright, so I just saw Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse last night. And oh my goodness, that movie was amazing. All-time best Spider-Man movie ever. Yeah, I said it. You heard it. Kinemation, best Spider-Man movie ever as of 2018, December 2018, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. wonder what's going down at the Oscorp CFO's place. It was lit. Everything from the story to the voiceover to the CGI visuals to the color schemes that they use to the soundtrack. I don't even care about music like that, but the soundtrack was on point. Like, the story, just the foreshadowing, it was just, oh my goodness, it was such an amazing movie, such an amazing experience. Oh, what's up, JJ? Not long ago, the demons committed another heinous act of terrorism when they took a tour bus and all of its occupants hostage. We have one of those occupants here with us now, a Mrs. Edna Packer of Edina, Minnesota. I saved Miss Packer. Now? Well, these horrible men in masks came on board with guns and held us all hostage. I thought I'd never see my kids again. And then the police saved us, and, and Spider-Man, of course. He was so brave. Mrs. Packer, I'm so glad you're safe. And also, that I can enlighten you about Spider-Man. You're from out of town, so you don't know what a menace he is. But he saved me and my husband. But look at the big picture. Do you have these kind of crimes in a diner? Oh, certainly not. And do you have Spider-Man uh, in a diner? Hmm. Uh, no. And uh, that hmm. is not a coincidence. You're welcome, Mrs. Packer. I consider explaining these things a public service. Well, there you have it right there, JJ being a hater as usual because hey it's what he does hey hold up I'm checking your comment now I'm sorry I didn't think anyone would actually be watching <laughs> this late hold up Is it late or is it early? I don't know. Is it late or is it early? I don't know. Ah, Rev! What's going on? Long time. Yeah, it's been a minute. Yeah, I, uh... I've been trying to catch everybody on uh, Mr. Karate's uh, streams, but, you know, I uh, haven't ran into anyone. Getting in some uh, Spider-Man Spider -Man action here. So, disclaimer, Spider-Man is, not only is he my favorite superhero of all time, he's actually the best superhero of all time. Heck yeah. And yeah, it's a little, just a little, you know, I just got off work myself. Today was the last night. Uh, my job shuts down for about a month. And uh, until then, I'm chilling. Okay. So you're somebody I can talk to. <laughs> I was just saying earlier that, uh, I went into the uh, movies yesterday, saw Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, and oh my goodness. Have you seen that movie yet? Because it is beyond dope. Like, oh, okay, I ain't gonna spoil nothing for you then. 
I'm going to go see it again this Saturday. It was that good. I mean, everything from the, C, the, the, the cinematics, the CGI, the voiceover. Okay, uh, hold up, what are you talking about? This station analyzes hazardous chemicals. Uh, basically trying to figure out how to counteract them if they ever got out into the world, which <clears throat> hopefully they never will. Oh no, someone broke in and stole a volatile rocket propellant. And they must have cracked the container because it's leaking. From the timestamp on the security cameras, it just happened. I need to get it back. Of course, it just happened. The spider bots are still just prototypes. Spider Man. This is a good time to test one. It's Spider Man. Its sensors can follow the chemical trail. And it had to happen now. Up on the thief. If he freaks out and drops the hydrazine, he'll blow up half a block. Gotta find a quiet place to deploy the spider bot. Where I can. Okay, little guy. Let's find where the chemical drip uh... and vacuum it up. The Amazing Spider-Man series. Can you even call it a series? Two movies? But, so, although out of all of the uh, movies, The Amazing Spider-Man was my least favorite, which I did thoroughly enjoy Amazing Spider-Man 2. Uh, honestly, I like all Spider-Man movies simply because it's freaking Spider-Man. Like, you're seeing this man, whether it's animated, CGI, live action, whatever, it's freaking Spider-Man. That's all that matters. Um, but yeah, I do like the Spider-Man movies simply because of Spider-Man, but they weren't the best. I, I, I have different crowds. reasons that I like them. Call this person with a uh, blast. Won't hurt anyone, but it's super For the Amazing Spider-Man series, I really did enjoy uh, Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. Uh, he, had, he, did a, he had a pretty good take on it. But with the Sam Raimi one, I preferred uh, Tobey Maguire's Peter Parker because I felt like he he Lucky really killed it. I like this Spider-Man too, honestly. And Tom Holland is just dope. But my only issue with Tom Holland is I'm tired of a young high school Spider-Man. Like when Maybe. I when I happened on Spider-Man, Spider-Man was already a grown man. You know what I'm saying? He was Spider-Man for a minute. And so, you know, I prefer older Spider-Man, personally, but, yeah, I love Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, no, they can that. Uh, Spider-Man Part 3, Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, you know, the reason they canned it was actually because of, um... So, Sony, because, uh, you know, that was a big Sony picture. The trail. Um, Sony's owned by, uh, I don't know the exact name of the guy, but, you know, Sony's a Japanese company. And, you know, the Japanese, they take they take things very seriously when it, um, but, uh, let me whip this guy up. Come here, come here, boy. Come here, boy. Sit down, boy. Come here, boy. Got it. Now to get the fuel back. But, um... Yeah, Andrew Garfield, he was supposed to be at a uh, press conference, but uh, he didn't show up to it at all, and they canned him for that. Garfield himself has said that, you know, he wasn't now aware of it, the fuel to the station. but, you know, the uh, useful. head of Sony or whatever, he had a, a big whole different opinion of it, so that's the reason. You can Google it, too. I'm not making this up. But that's the reason why uh, the Amazing Spider-Man Spider -Man series got canned. But uh, me personally, I don't mind too much because, uh, you know, they did kind of had this man in the uh, MCU. And Marvel just had the best take on Spider-Man. I mean, the Sony movies were good, but come on, man. Like, Spider-Man needed to come home. Chemicals back where it belongs. I beefed up the station security and sent Yuri the camera footage to convict the thief. All right. Not a bad day's work. For this science. This is one station that was already earning its keep. It should be safe from being shut down, especially now that the chemicals are locked away. For science. But yeah, not only did Spider-Man come home, but, uh, you know what I'm saying, he let family take care of him. And the MCU's adaptation of him is, I, I feel like, you know, one of the best ones. How have you been, man? It's been a minute.
Yeah. So, hold on. Let's see what JJ talking about. Terrorist organization, all the above apply, is out of control. We have a survivor of one of their brazen attacks on the line. Go ahead. I was home in my building when we got word there were demons on the roof planting bombs. We had to evacuate, but we also heard there were snipers waiting to pick us off if we tried to leave. Despicable. Fortunately, the police and the bomb squad handled the situation. And Spider Man, he. Spider-Man was there too. Cut the call. <laughs> Sorry, hard to hear when we're talking over each other. Clearly, someone traumatized by a terrifying experience. For resources to help with PTSD, go to our website. Another public service from J. Jonah Jameson. Well, JJ be a hater boy, but yeah, you're right. Cause they was originally said, uh, want to see a part three because how it ended. They originally was, um. Attention setting up for a uh, excuse me a Sinister Six movie and you know in this here Spider-Man game that's what we got but uh, a Sinister Six would have been freaking dope man like my gosh another bomb mission what up chief another bomb threat officer you know it same procedure disable the primary then go after the secondary device got it yeah, a, uh, they were, they were originally planning a Sinister Six movie, and like me personally, just with his personal uh, uh, Amazing Spider-Man Two, I thought Jamie Foxx was a pretty good Electro. And I meant it. Oh boy, let me get that from me. Hold on to that. But you gotta see that amazing that uh, Into the Spider Verse. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna try not to keep bringing it up, but my gosh, it's hard not to bring it up. <laughs> oh crap. Okay. I'm gonna mess with this guy just because. Oh snap. Where you come from? I grab his gun. All right, time to get that arming key. Spider-Man, those bombs will blow if you don't defuse them. Oh, no, there it goes. Wait, pigeon? No, bro. We ain't chasing no pigeons. What is bomb at? Hey, slow down! Man, I wish I spoke pigeon. Oh crap! Bomb triggers wired in series. And yeah, do you know that man who was always in the shadows had all the stuff against Spider Man? Came out in the first movie in the end, coming in with Rhino. What? Uh, hmm. I'm not too sure who you're talking about. If I need to go back to watch these movies, I will. Man, I was like, what? What did he do in the movie? Oh my gosh! What the heck am I supposed to do here? All right, let's do this. That's not going to work. It's not going to work at all. Let's do this instead. Fix it in a second.
Yeah, I don't. The only part I remember with the rhino, which is the part that I felt the most gypped on, was uh, when at the end he came out, he was like swinging these. Uh, uh, he was shooting those torpedoes, and Spider Man was deflecting them with the uh, sewer cap. That was freaking sick. Oh, wow. That sounds pretty dope, actually. He talked to Lizard, and he came out with Rhino before he got his suit. I'm going to have to go back and watch both of them. I don't remember that at all, but that freaking sounds crazy. Yeah, I want to see that. That did it. I hadn't pieced it together because, be, be, to be honest with you, um, the first Amazing Spider-Man, I have seen it Damn. twice. Dead man switch. But uh, I was kind of, I wasn't even kind of upset about explode. it. I was, I was really upset about it. Why y'all keep putting that bird on me, man? Get this bird out of here. But uh, I was kind no of way. upset that um yeah i was kind of upset about the whole suit thing and yada 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 and yeah i know i was tripping but um oh come on you guys y'all doing the most right now But yeah, I um, I don't remember that at all. Like, I gotta go back and, and watch it. Like, I'm actually gonna do it because huh, I'm fixing to have all the time in the world to do so. And it's somebody that carried over from Amazing Spider-Man one and two. Happy to help, officer. Stay safe. I'm gonna have to check this out, Rev. You got me crazy curious right now. One more location should give me the data I need to find Black Cat. By my rough estimate, she's got about 49 million in loot. I reach her before she gets to 50 and she the might go straight. The guy who talked to Lizzie when he was in prison, and in the second movie he came out of here. I, I, I vaguely remember somebody talking to a uh, Lizard, uh, Dr. Connors, at the end of the, uh, the first movie. I mean, not at the end, but you know what I mean. But it's been a minute since I've seen it. Like, I ain't seen The Amazing Spider-Man since, uh... See, it came out in 212... 213? It's been, it's been a minute since I watched it. It's been a minute since Hello, I watched cat. it. Oh, man. That's the gallery where they keep the Jade Tiger. That's worth a cool million. I've got to run my algorithm and find Felicia quick. But I was, I was, I wasn't even kind of disappointed Found her in hiding. the, uh... Gotta get there before she leaves town. Yeah, I wasn't, um... I wasn't kind of disappointed in the first Amazing Spider-Man. I was, like, very disappointed in it. But I still rocked hard for it, because, you know, it's my boy Spidey. But, uh, I, I did, I, I enjoyed the second one a lot, but I said, I, I remember, uh, somebody talking to Connors at the, uh, at the very end of it. Not the very end, but I sound like an idiot rambling on. <laughs> I'm going to set up now. <laughs> what was your favorite part about the amazing uh, series, though?
Freedom Tunnel. Before Feast started, this was a haven for New York's homeless. Mostly abandoned now. Good hiding spot. Must be a hidden entrance or something. I'm gonna go back and watch it. I'll probably watch it, uh, honestly, before I go see uh, Into the Spider-Verse this weekend. Just to see it again, you know. No, I wasn't trying to... Oh, crap. Did I quit that? That was an accident. Yeah, I'm an idiot. My bad. Oh, no, I didn't quit it. Cool. Freedom Tunnel. Before Feast started, this was a haven for New York's homeless. Mostly abandoned now. Good hiding spot. Must be a hidden entrance or something. Bingo. This looks like everything she stole, but no sign of Felicia. Financial data on the Magia crime families. Is she trying to blackmail them? Tum tum tum. Foreshadowing for DLC. What was your, uh, out of the entire Amazing Spider-Man uh, series, what was, what was your favorite, your favorite part about it? Like, most memorable moment for you. Fisk reported this stolen a few years back. Veronica. Wine from a Magia vineyard. What's this? Wow. First time I caught Felicia, she was trying to steal this. Looks like she finally went back to finish the job. It's point of stealing all this if you don't even put it up on display, though. Aw, look. Cat's dancing with the little spider. Also imprisoning him in a jar against his will. Cute. Very cute. So this is actually a New Game Plus playthrough. The suit that I'm wearing right now is actually the suit that you get from Felicia that you see sitting on the table right there, but it's like my favorite suit in the game. Second favorite suit in the game. Uh, so yeah. Or is it third? Top three. Definitely. Spider, you raced here to redeem me, didn't you? You're adorable. And cute, too. Which is why I made you something more flattering. If you've got it, flaunt it. Hey. This couldn't all have just been a game, could it? Spider-Man, the black cat just robbed the police department's evidence lockup. What? How? That place is like Fort Knox. All those cats you found? When they were all together in the evidence room, they linked up, boosted their signal, and deactivated the alarms. No one even saw her sneak in. She knew I'd find the cats and report them to you. She played me, again. What'd she take? Just her old costume and gear. She let me find 50 million worth of loot just so she could get her stuff back. Which means she's got something even bigger planned. Wow. Gotta give her credit. She played you good. Are you smiling? You sound like you're smiling. I gotta go. <laughs> Heck yeah. That, uh... That uh, that scene where Spider-Man was fighting Electro, the final battle, that's pretty dope. I like the uh, the song that they were playing. I don't remember how the song went, but it was like, I'm not even gonna try to <laughs> try to sing it because I'm gonna sound stupid if I do. But uh, I believe it was Electro's theme, where they're like doing all that whispering and stuff on the uh, you know, it's like the beat is revving up, building up. Good shot. But that's a dope, that's a dope moment. But my 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 favorite is the same as yours. That uh final final part with Rhino, and he's got that sewer cap blocking all those um blocking all those missiles. You got a demon hideout right here. Oh boy. I bet you guys get great reception up here. That was not quiet. 
Me going in, which means I'm going in. I don't know where he went, but he's allowed. There he is. He's good. He's good. Out of all three of the the, I'm not going to include into the Spider Verse, but out of the three live action Spider Mans that we've gotten in oh, recent yeah. years, um, hmm. honestly, I would say that a Homecoming was my favorite. Shoot. A fight between Doc Ock and Rhino? Doc Ock all day. MJ, I'm at location number two. Can you believe these demons wear their masks just like walking around? Let's make for confusing staff meetings. I'll try to figure out their operation while you throw a wrench into it. Hmm. Yeah, like Doc Ock would wipe the floor with Rhino only because Doc Ock, I mean... He just, I mean, he has, he doesn't have the crazy raw strength like Rhino does, but he does, I mean, darn it, I missed. I was trying to throw that behind him. Crap, they know I'm here. And now they're looking for me. But, um, yeah, no, like, Rhino's not smart enough to defeat Doc Ock. Like, you can't just walk up to this dude and start pounding on him you know what i'm saying like you gotta you gotta use your head fighting dr octopus in any iteration of doc Ock, like male or female like just octavius ain't no joke and here got him nice You gonna leave your boy like that? Can nobody tell you? Be careful, there's spiders in here. Got him, oh. And they know I'm here. Alright. It's party time. Ooh. It's gonna hurt somebody there. Ooh. That guy just flew. Alright, playtime's over. Mm -hmm. Where'd he come from? Spider-Man strongest villain or most deadliest villain? So that's like two different hey, questions. The role of homicidal demons will now be played by more homicidal demons. Cause like if we talking like strongest in terms of like raw strength, uh It's a, it's a hard question. I want to say Rhino, but if we're if we're sticking to Spidey's Road Gallery, 
Just people that's exclusive to him. Y'all need to watch out, man. Y'all play too cool. Yeah, shot your boy in the back. Uh, hmm. So like, as far as like a villain that could like really hurt Spider-Man, I would say Green Goblin. Um, only because like, oh wow, they actually got me. That sucks. As far as like villains that like really gets into his head, like really you know has sway over him, I would go with Green Goblin. Uh, only because uh. Deadly? Okay, deadliest. Deadly. His deadliest villain. Carnage. Carnage. Like, because Carnage is just, you know. Guys are crazy. Bloodthirsty. Carnage isn't even bloodthirsty. He just. Carnage. He, he just likes the carnage. He just likes the pain and the suffering and the, the bloodshed and the, like, you know, this dude is. You know, it doesn't matter to Carnage, like, any and everybody, like, it just, he'll kill anybody, everybody. And then, you know, the fact that his host is a serial killer don't make him no better. Oh, that did not work. Oh, that didn't work either. Let's get this guy. I was just going with... There we go. Right. And they know I'm here. Mm. That didn't even brought out... Ooh, good stuff yet. I don't know how you got me while I was in the air, but okay. Oh yeah, Venom is strong, but you know, Carnage, uh, Carnage is a, is a spawn, uh, from Venom. And so, like, Venom is strong, but as far as deadly goes, I don't think Venom is as deadly as Carnage is. Only because, like, Ven uh, Carnage, I mean... Carnage is so crap. I got myself hit into that. Car Carnage is such a problem that Venom ended up having to team up with uh, Spider-Man to bring him down. So hard. That dodged that, but okay. Oh, and they killed me off of it too. Seriously? All right, it's time to get serious. But uh, Venom, I think out of all his villains, though, honestly, I don't want to sound like crusade or basic or nothing but Venom is actually my favorite Spider-Man villain in any of the symbiotes any of the symbiotes only because they share his char uh, characteristics and so like I've always felt like you know even though uh, 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 um, Venom had a I mean uh, not Venom Green Goblin had like a more um, personal personal it was a more personal threat to spider-man i always felt like venom like you know physically pushed him to the limits amongst other villains also
Come on. There you go. And they know I'm here. And they shooting at me. Okay, he's trying to hit me for real. Oh no, baby. Big guy out. Other guy. There we go. Hit me out. Get down. I liked it in a movie. Uh, the only thing I did not like about uh oh, the only thing I did not like about the Venom movie was how they kind of made uh, Venom out. They I felt like they humanized them too much. Um, the whole him being a loser back on his home planet and you know what I'm saying, even having any kind of interest in Eddie's love life. Um, and not that he had an interest in his love life, but Maximum Spider! Sorry, I gotta, I gotta do that. Unless you're just Natalie dressed paparazzi. But like the, um, so. like, just his, his interaction with Eddie when it came to, uh, what's, what's her, his girlfriend's name, Amy? I don't, I don't remember her name. But, um, I didn't, I didn't care for that part of the movie. Outside of that, I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. I would, I, um, I would love to see the sequel. I would love to see him with the, uh, okay. Oh, off the wall attacks. I should have been did that. That one. That two. No, sir. And three. What'd you think of the Venom movie, though? I'll, yeah, I, I like the Venom movie. I want to see the sequel. Nah, I'd be down for that. Get away from me, boy. What you doing? How do you back up no, that sir. Here so fast? I know it's not the six train. You guys trying to kill me. More demons. How do you guys tell each other apart? I mean, there's only so many mass variations. Morbius? Morbius. Morbius is a dope enemy. I... I never really thought Morbius was too big of a threat to Spider-Man, because Mor Mor Morbius was like was like Mr. Freeze, you know, um, Batman. Like Morbius had he had an agenda, an objective. He wasn't just like some crazed villain out there to just. Oh my gosh! Why? Why?
Yeah, what's happening, Hinori? Hero Nori, I'm sorry. But yeah, uh more like Mor Morbius is powerful. He is strong. You can't take that away from him. Nice. But um I don't think he was like really one of Spider Man's most deadliest villains because he was too he was too in check. Too too you know he wasn't a loose cannon. Ooh, they tried to Right? I believe that was probably the sixth wave, too. They're making me look bad in front of the company. I don't appreciate that. Boy, what you doing, boy? Hero Nori, have you seen uh, Into the Spider Verse yet? I just seen it last night, and I'm kind of obsessed with it. So, like, you gotta forgive me. I do like the ultimate green goblin. Oh wow, what is going on here, you guys? Enough. Hold on, let me let me focus real quick. network for drug running which it looks like is their real priority okay there we go maximum spider all right you backup guys get here so fast I know it's not the sixth train I think out of all the goblins, um, I've been sitting here thinking about it. <laughs> I'm supposed to be concentrating on this fight, but I'm thinking about my favorite goblin. Uh, I like the original goblin. I like the original goblin, but I, I really do like the ultimate goblin, too. I don't know how that got me. Hey you guys, try this. Wow, y'all just don't care, hmm. I'll drop a whole shelf on you and then you're whatever about it. Somebody's not playing with me. Oh, 
That's all good, Nori. Where you, uh, where you from? You're not from Japan, are you? Oh my gosh, why is this happening? Give me that. Where big boy at? He's got it. Join the challenge though boys, keep it coming. I grabbed that, I so grabbed that. Get off the walls, buddy. And I jump right in. Okay, you know what? Let's go down here, fellas. Let's do this. Darn shield. Crap, he got me. No, he didn't. Enjoy this for a little bit. Here. Get out of here. Oh, you still want some? Alright, Rev. Be easy. Have a good night. MJ, I've got the place locked down. Great. I'll call in an anonymous tip. I bet if the police check out those drop boxes, they'll find something more interesting than secondhand jeans. Wow. And we can, uh, completed none of the bonus objectives. We're going to come back to this because for some crazy reason they're kicking my butt. But best believe we will come back to this. Later, Rev. Be easy. Let's hit the story mission. Which demon demon base is this? Okay, keep that in mind. Coming back for them. Yeah, uh, Hinoori, you got a, uh, favorite Spider-Man movie, or have you, uh, seen Into the Spider-Verse yet? Back to that demon base. Remember when Spider Man had a sidekick? The black cat, a curvaceous young lady in leather. Not the kind you bring home to mother. And then it turned out she was a thief. Big shock, right? Well, I hear she's back. And let me make a prediction Spider Man's going to give her a second chance. Is it because he's naive? A thief himself? Or is he just thinking with his web shooters? Spider-Man, I know you're listening, so let me issue a warning now. As the old saying goes... Oh, no. Don't cut him off. Man. Come on. I didn't even go down there. Whatever. Like they could use some help. I don't even want to help no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good 
Stay down somewhere, boy. <laughs> I feel like these are actually like kill strikes Spider Man be doing. I mean, you can't just hit somebody with a with a mailbox like that, you know. Oh man. When is it uh when does the Spider Verse come out in Japan? You guys stay here. It's sure in Japan though, that's that's freaking amazing, man. I've always wanted to go to Japan. I've always wanted to move out there. Somebody was in a hurry. Spider-Man. I just feel like all the best stuff comes out of Japan. You're hurt. I'm okay. Next year. Well, fast. it is the end of the year. Those guys in the masks kidnapped him and forced him up to his place. He lives in the penthouse, top floor. Okay, sit tight. Hey guys. So glad you're here. I can't find my car. I could have sworn I parked on this level. Got that, some of y'all boys. Yeah, it looks uncomfortable. That looks slightly better. Hello. No, it's a bomb. Yeah, man. Once y'all do get into the Spider Verse, though, into the Spider Verse. Oh my goodness, it's such a great movie. always late I don't know man I think Japan is well I mean I don't know I mean you would know better than I would but like Japan just might be one of those countries similar to uh, you know like how China has like their own movie industry you know and like you know not even all American movies uh, make it into their theaters Japan I would think would be very similar Y'all tripping, man. Especially you. You need to chill out. Alright, boys. What you want to do? Where do you go? There you go. Don't be like that. What uh what part of Japan are you in if you don't mind my asking? This building is serious about parking enforcement. That was fast. He went down pretty pretty quickly. Fight! A for effort! Alright, Spidey, which way are we going? The elevator won't work. They know I'm here. But maybe I can sneak up through the elevator shaft. Yep. 
should be able to make it up to the penthouse from here. Oh crap. If I get closer, I can take him out. That is close enough, Spidey. Give him a windy. So these elevators have the potential to come down and kill me, would they not kill the uh these guys? Spidey, the light. Don't go into the light. Hey, pal. Don't do that. Crap. Oh no. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Woo. Oh crap, you saw me. But it's too late. Where do I go, George? Tall building. A very tall building. Fire bombs? Seriously? No, sir. Standish. Okay, now what? Enter your password. These darn demon thugs, how dare they? He sounds nervous. Maybe I should take him out. That one hurt him. Uh, you know what? Anyone else here? Oh, there's one. That guy's lit up like the 4th of July. Oh, no, you don't. Alright, Hero Nori. You be good out there. Do there. Sleep it off. Yeah, they got me now. Oh, yeah, they know I'm here. I'll be 
honest, that one looks better broken. How you guys hit me with this crazy accuracy? Enough is enough, fellas. Come on. That one hurt him. All right, okay, Stand all clear. Hope Standish is all right. Standish. Oh, he's got sword. <laughs> Okay. And that was that for the oh crap. Probably, but now I won't. There you go. Let's get out of Let's here. Let's try this again. It's safe now. What were they after? Just financial records. About Devil's Breath? How do you know uh -oh. about that? Why do they want it? I don't even know what it is. My favorite. Mr. Osborne's been pouring Just money into it for noise. years. But I don't know where she is. It keeps the whole project a secret. I'm the only one who has any record of it. Not anymore. Looks like they copied some records to a secure server. Payroll information. On a Dr. Isaac Delaney. Who is he? I, I honestly don't know. Down! Mm. Come on, come on! Wait, the elevator! <gasps> You okay? Yeah. I think so. Good. Good. You know, as elevator shafts go, this is pretty nice. <laughs> hmm. At least that wasn't no, uh, Gwen Stacy moment. Huh? Huh? Am I right? Am I right? Huh? Okay. Hey, Yuri. You okay? Yeah, but I didn't get much out of Standish before these Sable guys stepped in and told me to back off. What's the deal? I get the sense all they care about is keeping him quiet. <coughs> because he knows about Devil's Breath. Right. Whatever the hell that is. I'm working on that. I think I just got a lead. A lead? You sound like a cop. Don't you mean... Spider Cop? Hey. Uh, Yuri? That's fair. Spider cop. Peter, what happened with Standish? He's safe. Okay, good. And the demons? They were looking for a name. You got a pen? Yeah, go. Dr. Isaac Delaney. Okay. Who is he? What's his deal? 
I was hoping you could tell me. I'm on it. Just give me a few. Oh, and before I forget, you left that tracker from Tombstones at my place. I'll drop it at Dr. Octavius's lab. Let you know what I find on Delaney. The spider cop is the man with the plan. Alright. Well, go on around the city, huh? Oh, yeah, I gotta throw my fair back in the cage real quick. Come here, you. Oh, what you doing, huh? Making, making noises, trying to wake people up. Hmm? I'll have to get her on the, on the stream one of these days. Message from Doc. Sorry to call so late, and my mind's bursting with ideas. We've been thinking too small, Peter. Why replace missing limbs with facsimiles when we can improve upon them? People who've lost an arm understandably want it back, but we can give them something better. The human body doesn't need to be our default. We can go so far beyond it. Just some thoughts to conjure with. Doc's really giving it both barrels. Hope he doesn't burn himself out. There's a pigeon. It's getting away. No, no, you don't. You pigeon, pigeon, pigeon. Hey, do you have time to check something out for me? No, but if you ask nicely. Just got a call about a suspicious looking box on a rooftop in Hell's Kitchen. I could call in the bomb squad, but if it's just some kid's science project. Yeah, I know. Budget crisis. Yada, yada, yada. So. <sighs> Will you. Please, check it out. There's the magic word. I hope it's some kid's science project. Man, I miss those days. School projects are so much easier than real life projects. Alright, so Yuri wants us to investigate something. But I honestly want to go back for that, uh... That demon base that kicked my butt. What's in the box? That box. What is this? Tombstone on the move. We take down Tombstone. Plenty of demon bases out here. Okay. All right, story mission. We go back for this here demon warehouse. Nah. You know what? Yes, that's exactly what we'll do. And then we'll call it a night. What's in the box? What's in the box? Military grade. Weird. Spider Man, so you found one of my recon points. Who is this? Wrong question. The correct one is Can you stop the bombs I've planted? Mystery Man's got recon points spread all over the city. Taskmaster. Alright, Taskmaster. 
Let's see you. This computer's tracking bombs around the district, and they're about to go off. I gotta move. I don't have much time. Faster, Pete. Good luck. Oh, man. Bruh, I done lost all my time. Okay, one more. Close to perfection. Ah! <laughs> one more. One more. One more time. I'm gonna do it in this one. I can feel it. You gotta be quick. Bombs could go off any second. Crack, 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 come on, man. Got the blast contained. Okay, one more. <laughs> 